win the first five hours of your day. And uh, click the link below, Silent Hero Films, man. Thank you guys. Truly appreciate you guys, as always. And um, I just saw uh, Eddie Hearn was making an offer <laughs> to Jerron Boots Ennis, who I've been saying has been the most mismanaged, misguided. He is on the wrong side of the Cold War in boxing. I've explained it to you, but... This, again, proves me right. I, I need to go on an I told you so tour. If he doesn't sign with Eddie, who's he going to sign with? <laughs> Frank Warren? He ain't asked about him. Top rank? You know, um, it's been a misguided, willfully. I'm riding with Jerron's Jer Ennis' dad, Mr. Ennis, Bozy Ennis. Maybe a great trainer, maybe a great person. But you're failing in terms of managing this young man's career. Um, why do I say that? He's fought the same level of opponent for five years. Nothing's changed in his career. Uh, and he's not in position to display his talents on the biggest stage. Steven Espinosa conned him. Do you know why Steven Espinosa signed him? Because he knew he was about to get out of boxing and he, and he wanted to have some type of teeth in it. You know, but I'm the crazy one. I tell you guys these things are happening before it happening, but now the white man is coming to save another black man. Because liberal, Mr. Democrat, Mr. Pro-Black, Stephen Espinoza, can't get this man to fight. Oh, let me explain something to you guys. There's two ways fights don't happen. The fighter outprices themselves or the management team underprices themselves. Give you an example. Tia Fima Lopez said, you gotta give me $10 million to fight Devin Haney. That's, out, that's pricing himself out. Now, when the promoter comes out and says, oh, he wanted too much money, <laughs> that means they didn't have enough money. You know, you hear that every day. I don't need to give an example for that. But that's basically what it means. Case in, po case in point. Leo Santa Cruz, you want to fight Gary Russell? Sure, I'll fight Gary Russell. I'll give you one point. I'm just giving out them, but I'll give you one million to fight Gary Russell. Okay. Or I'll give you 2.5 million to fight uh, Tank Davis. Get You get it? <coughs> he fought Tank Davis. It happens all the time. Abner Mares will tell you what happened. He'll tell you all the time, you know. But, um, uh, but now it's coming to a head now because now... Uh, what Drake said, Al Heyman checks ain't there no more. Showtime checks aren't there anymore. So what you gonna do? You gonna prove me right and salvage and or save your career and go sign with the white man. It's funny how all these fighters are tough. Oh, I'm big, bad, and I'm tough. But won't fund their own fights. You waiting on someone to come save your career. This is a great example of it. Fred, what are you talking about? Shit. I funded my own movies. Y'all saw it. I was my own bank during COVID. Y'all saw it. Funneling millions of dollars because I knew it was going to end. And once it ended, boom, what did I do? I bought a mansion. Played a long game. Invest and bet in yourself. Jerron Ennis should have been fighting in Philadelphia. Like Robert Guerrero, not Robert Guerrero. Like Guerrero did when he was fighting in Maryland. Remember, he was selling out in Maryland and then HBO came and, you know, the rest is history. Didn't didn't really pan out the way we thought it would be, you know, but he, he kept fighting locally, locally, locally till he was too big. That's what Jerron Ennis should have did. Jerron Ennis should have been selling out Atlanta. He should have been going up to 95, Philadelphia, then worked his way down to Baltimore. And then when he got big enough, maybe he should have did a fight in Virginia. Maybe he should have did a fight in D.C. You know what I mean? Smart Jerron. He should, Jerron Ennis should have hollered at Jared Hurd. Hey, Jared Hurd, our main event, you co-main event. You take 30%. I take 70%. Let's go. Let's see. Figure this out. Think we can sell 5,000? Okay, let's do it. 
Then he should have went to Philadelphia and been like, hey, hey, Tev, Tev, I know you a hustler. Hey, Tev and Farmer, hey, how many can you bring? Can you bring? Yeah, we'll get some local talent. Our main event, we'll bring some guys in. We'll knock them out. We'll go viral and uh, we'll, we'll build up. We'll, we, we will rebuild ourselves. Cool, I'm with it. I'll be the main event. You'll be the co-main event. That you know Danny, J Rock, Stephen Edmans, then you get some then you get them guys to work and promote it and you know, appearances, sign autographs, you know. Keep it filling. See, I know how to make money. Fred, why don't you do it? I'm doing it. I'm not a promoter. I'm a common sense guy. I have com anything you give me in the world, I have common sense. So I can I can I can put my common sense on any topic in this world. It's A, B, C, D. It's not a hope. It's not, man, if I land this 1% deal, nah. I got a 1% chance. I don't go on 1%. Nah. If you stay, if you stay diligent and work and work and work, you will put yourself in the 1%. Y'all hoping to hit a home, hit a grand slam and be in the 1%. No, I put my head down for 25 years. Now I'm in the 1%. And there's nothing nobody can do. My name is on the front and the back of the checks. <laughs> and until you learn, you're never going to get it. And the most beautiful thing about me is I don't value the uh, the naysayers because I'm 1%. I'm just living to inspire the 99%. And I know it sounds, oh, he vain. He is. No, I'm not vain. I'm just not, I'm not going to, I will never let anyone humble me. No, no, mm -mm. no. I'm only going to be on my back for a few days in my life. And that's my funeral. Other than that, I will never be on my back. Mm -mm. Nah, I'm going to work, 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 work. You're going to pray, 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 pray. Hope, 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 hope. I'm going to work, 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 work. And that's the difference. Jerron Boos Ennis has been waiting and waiting and waiting. And now he's an email champ. He could have funded his own fights. If y'all so big and so popular, fund your own fights. Be a, isn't that what men do? Men protect the house. Men create income. Create your own income. But y'all are still waiting on the white man. Y'all waiting on Sky Daddy. Y'all waiting on the sacred cow. I've never waited on the sacred cow. I've never worshipped the sacred cow. I've never worshipped celebrities. You know how? Because guess what? I didn't put a premium on you guys talking to them on my platform. You got to pay to talk to these people on other people's platforms. You got to pay. Now nah, I ride with the people in the shop every night. You know what I can do? Y'all can call in and talk. Five minutes, 10 minutes. Some conversations lasted 30 minutes. Whether I agreed with you or disagreed with you. I shut my mouth and let you ask your question. And if the guests didn't want to talk to you no more, I hung up on you. That's it. Plain and simple. Simple math. See, when it's all said and done, I'm going to be the king. Because your favorite YouTuber is wearing a sports bra. And he's a boy. He's a boy. He ain't a man. There's no money in boxing anymore. Last week, who fought? I don't know who fought. Exactly. It was New Year's. It was football. Who's fighting this week? I'm watching this fight. Arthur Benavidev. He's one of my favorite fighters. Uh, he's a fighter that I like. Uh, he's not going to bring in any money. So for the first two weeks of the year, uh, there's been no fights. Who's fighting next week? I don't know. The only fight that I know that's big is Teofimo Lopez fighting February 8th. But then I know that because before the Super Bowl, because of marketing, the rollout. I haven't seen Amazon roll out anything. I'm on Amazon every day. The chickens have come home to roost. Nation of Islam. Farrakhan. Farrakhan done endorsed Trump. <laughs> Farrakhan done endorsed Trump. I was a coon for saying Trump was a better choice than Biden. Mm, 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 mm. Shame, 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 shame. Chickens have come home to roost. That's why I say when you have common sense. And here's the most beautiful thing about when you live with common sense. 
when you live with common sense, it's an unfiltered way for truth to live in your life. Because when you don't live on common sense and you're making excuses, then you say, oh, I got to do it for the culture. And then you can be ratchet and righteous and uh, you can twerk and go to church. You can uh, you can sell dope in the community and give your God fearing mother, pay your God fearing mother's rent. You can be a blood or a crip. You can kill a dude on Saturday night and then ask for forgiveness on Sunday. You can, you can punch women in the face. Where they do that at? I told you guys, I'm him. That's, that's it. I told you guys for years, win the first five hours of your day, but your favorite YouTubers wearing a sports bra. Yeah, they fat, got titties. Yeah. Milking. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm him. You can you can cookie cut it, you can disagree, you can hate me. But my life, family in tow, about to take the kids to school. Just worked out. You guys see the just worked out, had a morning workout, went eating, drinking my smoothie. I'm about to find out how much I'm worth in the next eight weeks. Go see my accountant. It done went up, 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 up. I don't know. I'll, I'll let you, you know, I'll let you guys know. No big deal. Meanwhile, your, your fat YouTuber that struggles streaming. I told you guys to vote for Donald Trump or not vote at all. I voted for myself. I told you guys not to vote for Biden. Charlemagne came out and said, I need to make this a separate video, but I'm going to just re-say the same thing in another video. Charlemagne said, uh, uh, oh, I, I regret it. Farrakhan says Trump. And it, remember the NOI was attacking me? But are they going to attack Farrakhan for endorsing Trump? <laughs> Stay in the common sense. Stay down for however long it takes, five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. Everyone wants a shortcut. Everyone's going to bet on LeBron James tonight. Everyone's going to go bet on the horse. Everyone's going to go play bingo. Everyone's going to go play the lottery. No, I worked out five to six days a week my entire life. Common sense. I always knew $1, got to flip $1 into $2. I know you got to stay family centered. You got to keep your family in tow because when you're in the streets, you do street things. How can you be an honest person in the streets? How can you gangbang? How can you pimp? How can you uh, sell dope? How can you punch women in the face? How can you punch men in the face? How can you rob men? I didn't say black men. How can you just be, do these things and say you're a righteous person and you glorify in the streets? Same conversations I have with my cousins. You can't be a righteous person. And you glorify in the streets. Hey, I'm, who, 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 I'm big, bad, and I'm a crip. Nah, this is the way to go. I got to go because I'm about to uh, go have breakfast with my kids and finish my smoothie. Give Dre a forehead kiss. We're going to do Team Hawthorne on three. Go to my stories. We're going to go to Team Hawthorne on three. And then we're going to have a great day. I'm gone. Peace.